are again revising whatever we have done till now. So till now we are uh, trying to solve some problems, and the problems that we are trying to solve are uh, using blockchain technology. Now, as you know, that when we are trying to solve some problems using a technology, we need some tools by which we can solve problems using that particular technology. For example, we are trying to solve some problems uh, using uh, internet. So, okay, that, that's okay. But how are we following? We need some websites. We need some some place where people can shop. Where we need some places where people can sell something. We need some places where people can get impacted uh, by certain solutions. Some some solutions like uh, we need some places where people can go and do their processing of uh, data science models. We need some places where people can. Uh, can do and verify their Aadhaar cards and uh, do the economic transaction and so on and so forth. So now, for internet is a backbone on which you need some applications to be developed. By let's say, uh, if you are solving some, if you, if you are using for Indian railways, you need IRCTC website and the proper model behind that. Similarly, if you are doing some transaction over HDFC bank, you need that particular application as well and so on and so forth. So now we are trying to use uh, the technology which is. Built on top of internet in one sense, we can say it's a blockchain technology which is leveraging the existing internet and to use a particular technology. We are uh, we are using a platform called Ethereum right now, and on which we are learning how to build our own applications, uh, our own solution. Understand that when we are creating our own decentralized applications, we are trying to solve some problem. And the mode here is that the motive here is that our intention is that we are we are solving some problems. What problems we are not having. Uh, any problem right now, but we are we are getting the weapons uh, and uh, weapons that uh, can be used to attack any problem and solve that problem. Right now, till now, whatever we had done yesterday was that we have uh, now in this particular Ethereum platform, and we are creating this as application. We are using Solidity as the language, and in that language, we are creating initially cryptocurrencies. And then we will be building slowly our own crypto exchange. This is the first step. Later on, the time we'll be building our own NFTs and NFT exchange as well. So this is one set of uh, series of uh, projects which we are doing. And then there will be some assignments for you to do build up on your own. There will be an hackathon type of a thing where you can solve some problems on your own. Maybe let's say I will give a solution that you create uh, NFT for uh, NFT marketplace for. Uh, for copywriters, or authors, or writers, or content developers, or maybe some solution like uh, marriage certification, or something like that. You give some basic problems, and you can do it up, and maybe some some prizes you can uh, get it as well. And I'm um, audible to you. Yes, sir. Right now you are audible, but in between there was some slight internet error. Yeah, I think I lost network connection. Yeah, so I think this is the point that uh, you had heard the roadmap. Now we are trying to go back again to the solution that we were building. We are using uh, Ethereum as our so our favorite uh, solution, and in that we are using Solidity as a programming language. So this is something which you have created till yesterday. Are you able to see yes at this point? Yes, sir. Great. So yesterday, till yesterday, we have built up this thing, and now let's compare up what is left. Uh, let us go back to our favorite uh, place, which is Google, and ask Google that uh, what is ERC twenty standard? Uh, what are the ERC? So we we'll get some Ethereum dot uh, org documents and look at the document. Let us compare it up with whatever we have till now. So let us compare that what we have built. So we need a name, we need a symbol, we need total number of decimals, total supply, balance of transfer, transfer form, approve, and allowance. These are nine uh, functions that we need to have. Let us see how much we have till now. So we have a name, it's coin, we have a symbol, we have decimal, we have total supply, we have balances, and we have allowance. So uh, we have tick mark one, two, three, four. Uh, balance of five and we have nine as well. So one, two, three, four, five and nine we have. What is pending? Transfer, transfer from and approve. So have we done that? Okay, we have uh, transfer, we have transfer from, 
and you know, it looks like we have uh, done a great <laughs> deal already, isn't it? Yes, sir. Now, uh, why is there two transfer form function? I'm not sure why we have the two transfer forms, but uh, seems like uh, it should be only transfer method, not transfer form. And uh, why there two of them? I'm not sure why there two of them. It might be one of them got copied. We can comment this one. Uh, I don't know what happened here. But I think this, this is so we have approved. We have transfer. We have transfer from it, isn't it? Fine. And now what is pending for this point? We have events that we can emit. Uh, we have transfer. We have approval event. So approval event we have created. Uh, we have emitted as well. Once we approve, we emit that event. Some other what was only pending was uh, the event for transfer. So now in this event transfer, we need to create that event and, and emit that event as well. Let's go back to our favorite place. We can declare that event, uh, and uh, that event is to revise that this is an event which can be emitted. And once the event is emitted, what happens at that point of time? Once the event is emitted, uh, then the the, then the entries are made in the log files and log files for everyone to see. So this is the basic structure that we need. Okay. So now when do we emit that particular event? Uh, whenever the transfer happens. So what, what we are emitting, we are emitting who has transferred, to whom the address is transferred and what value that, that address is transferred. Now, when is the transfer happening? Once the event is happening, transfer is happening here. And the transfer is happening here. That's it. So now let us try to emit that. And now I I, I need your help at least. Please help me out. That yes, uh, let me try to uh, emit that particular event. Fine. Emit means we are writing it up in the log file. So when we are emitting, we know that we need to use the keyword emit. Okay. Now over to you, uh, both fine gentlemen. Let me know what what should come in the from when we are transferring. Who is who is the address from which the event is emitted? From which the transfer is happening? Message dot sender. Oh wow, fabulous! So great! Uh, it's so heartening to listen to that particular voice. Uh, it's great. And who is the two? Let me ask uh, maybe one uh, Can you help me out? Who is the two to which the uh, transfer is happening? Sir, we will we are passing the address of the like receiver with that. And who is the receiver here? What is the address of the receiver? Um address of the receiver is uh as I am not able to figure it out actually. One second. Sender. Um I'm sorry, sir, I'm not able to figure it out. You're doing great, much. Thank you so much. It requires a great deal of courage to say what you're saying. So thank you so much for playing full out. So let me explain what is happening here. So there's a transfer event. It's a transfer function. The transfer function is transferring something from my account to someone's account. So whatever you see the address underscore to, to that particular address, some, some coins are sent. And how many coins are sent? The coins of underscore value are sent. Now, in this particular function, we are first of all checking at the line number 20 that do I have, I means the one who is transferring, that is message.sender, actually does have these many coins. And if it has, uh, my balance is reduced and the balance of the sender is increased. So to answer it up for you, the underscore 2 is the, the function, the underscore 2 is the address at which the uh, bits coins are transferred. And how many bits coins are transferred? Whatever is written in underscore value. Right? Got it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and it, it is actually written as <laughs> we don't have to change anything right now here. It is exactly as it is. Right? Now let me just try to fire this event once again. Uh, or I would just try to say that it is also happening in this particular thing. So now what I should do? I should uh, emit that event as well. Right? Now, while emitting, uh, can you think of what, who is the from here? I mean, from which address it is transferring? When we are looking at the transfer, 
um, method it is transferring from something to something and that much that is written in the log file. And in this transfer from function, so we are passing from whom we should transfer to which uh, address should be transferred to which value we should transfer. So can you tell me what should I write here? Any one of you? Sir, it will remain the same. Okay. Uh, one should, what should I write in? Um, to whom it is transferring? Uh, underscore two. What we are passing See? here. And what is uh, what should I write in? How many points? Uh, that transfer? also we are passing it with the function. Absolutely, that was rock. That's great. So now I think we have done a lot, lot, lot more thing. Anything is pending? Let us look at our reference. In that reference, let us look at. Is there anything pending? Uh, okay. Now you have to tell me, is it okay or not? So just scan it up quickly. Whatever we are doing here. So we are uh, we are creating a solidity. Whatever you can say, program or smart contract. The contract name is token. The the contract or the solidity version we are using is something that is 0 0.8.4 or higher than that. And we are creating the name of the coin or cryptocurrency that is bits coin. We are creating a symbol that is bits. Total decimal place is 18. Total supply is, let's say, 10 million into 10 to 18 because we are talking in terms of the decimal, last decimal place. And we have created a mapping that is from address to the value that tells about if this is the address. How many coins, uh, bits coin that address is holding, and this is the allowance. That means how much this address has allowed that particular, let's say, crypto exchange to spend how many coins on that particular account's behalf, and there are certain events uh, that are declared. This is a transfer function that transfers from my account. That means who is uh, who is who is calling this particular smart contract to this particular address to this particular value is happening we are allowing someone we are approving someone to transfer on my behalf and then someone is transferring from second person's account to third person's account as well and we are doing this much okay and there's a the sector as well now let me just check it up anything uh, you can just tell me name is defined say yes or no yes sir great now just be active uh, have all those energies so you two you two are here both of them may take different experiences after this class. Both of them have different learnings after this class. And both of them will have different application after this class. Those are apply different. You know what is the difference? What would be the difference? Two people, same session, same class. One of them will have a different understanding. And one of them will have a different level of application. Why? So it may be because of the means how much I have understood it may depend on that yeah but what parameter impacts what you understand what impacts what you understand what, how much what I have you to learn so the basic okay. previous understanding on which I learned this class may impact like yes. the previous understanding of uh, my like the workflow of my mind will be different from the other person Sure. What your understanding, what your previous understanding, what your uh, what you just said, yes. What your so how much we have understood in this session and how much we are able to gain from it. Yeah. So basically, what is your attention here in this class? So how much you are attending uh, in the sense that what is your attention level? Is your attention level five percent of your attention, and you are looking at all the surroundings here, who is coming, who is going, who is this and that then the level of attention will be one of the most important factors what will be the understanding and what will be the application in this after this particular class it's okay that you may have different level of background it's okay that you have different level of brain substance here it's okay that you may have different level of previous experience of programming it's okay that somebody have higher or lower and this and that but what's the most important thing that people will have a different level of understanding and application is the fact that what is your attention? How much is your attention? So you will have a different level of enjoyment and different level of understanding when you are, when your attention uh, level is of a different degree. If you are eating at the same time, you're walking at the same time, you are, you're doing 20 different tasks, maybe chatting and doing these different things. 
definitely uh, the level of grasp would be way, way more different. Right? It's not that if your attention span is not understood, you will leave it here. Of course, uh, you have to be a very cautious. Yes. Right? Let us try to come back to this example. Yes, we have devoted the name, symbol, decimals, balance, everything we have created and we have emitted the events as well. So now I think for me, there is nothing left here. And for me, we are good to go and we are good to compile it up. Let's say what, what we get out of it. Right? And for you, uh, it is your responsibility once you should ask me everything, whatever you are not understood. So you are giving 60 minutes of your life uh, to this program. And uh, it's not 60 minutes, at least however time you are there, even every moment is, is your currency, is your, the time is basically energy, time is what defines your life, time is money as well to one extent. So use your time as something very, very precious. And I am there to answer everything, whatever you can ask. If required, I will explain it once again, twice again, thrice again, 10 times again, right? Take responsibility of yourself and how much you are understanding as well, how much, if at all you're not understanding anything, let me know, right? I'm there to help you. Right? Can you take the responsibility of that one, Chef? Uh, yes, sir. Of your time. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, thank you so much, Yes, Take, take care yes. that uh, you value your time and uh, Chase me from the caller. I didn't understand that. Fine. Okay. Let us try to apply it up. Let us try to compile this. And uh, we are using 0.8.7, which is higher than 0.8.4. That's okay. We can use that. And let us try to compile it up. What do we say? Yes, there is some error here, which is saying that in line number 12, we are using alliance, uh, which is of public and um, Unexpected type name that is coming up. Why there is a type name unexpected here? I'm not sure why this error is there. Um, can you figure me out? Can you help me out? Why this address will be there? Quickly check back the photo. Okay. Sir, I think that the UINT 256 wouldn't be there. Okay. Uh, alliance is this one. What's the output that this giving? This UINT 56. Uh, okay. What could be there? It's what it is returning. This it is only returning. Also, it's giving her with name, I think, uh, not type. Yes, I think. Uh... Let me try to rename it up. Maybe the same name I have already been created. Let's see. I use it up. Let me try to. Uh, so sir, are you editing anything on the terminal? Because we are not able to see. So, Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, that. Oh, no, I think I should update that up. What is the place here? What have I done? So the allowance spelling is wrong there. I guess I also think this thing the same allowance spelling was wrong. But here now, oh, now this is super human thing now for me.
Oh, what have I done? What have I done? So this is actually also mapping, na? Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, when we are committing, right? Asa, uh, I think uh, we need to put a bracket over there. Where? Ah, uh, before. I think this is fine. This is also fine. This is good, isn't it? Ah uh, yes, it's fine. Yeah, and when we are emitting this one, what is it saying? Comma. Did I miss it? Okay. Minus two two. Address index message comma index. Okay, let me just try to do that. Um, just by using time when address should be can be, I think. So we need to remove this address and index thing. Yeah, yeah it's making that. That that may be the one other thing. What are they going to do? Sir, damn this call. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that. That was it. Okay. Oh, so there is a warning. There is an error here as well. So that is thirty-eight line number. It says okay. Very bad. My end. Then again, the same. Uh, that may be seen because of which. Yes, now it is compiled. There is some SPDX license because we are uh, not uh, going be on chain right now. So that's okay. This error, fine. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just had one doubt that uh, you removed the type from there since we are returning and not defining. Was that the reason or something else? Yeah. So when we are uh, declaring something, let's like, say we are declaring a method. Or declaring yeah. a function. Yeah. So to declare that this is expected of this particular type. For example, when I am saying that, uh, so I am expecting int. Let's say the variable name is something. I am expecting int of this, and there is a boolean third variable. So when I am passing, I am not saying the variable has already been defined. Let's say a, b, or c. I am not always expected to write again a, b, and c uh, integer a, integer b, integer c. It may just be taken care here. I think this is what is happening here. So we need not again uh, declare it up that this is again the same address which is because because it has already been declared that what is message or send us type here. Yes, so not, in the function in the function definition part, it's declared. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm, part, yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let us try to use it once again. That what do we get when we are using it up? So this 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 function we are checking it up. Let's say we are running it up on a test network. So what is this? There are there are ten accounts here. This is a small uh, blockchain in itself, a test blockchain network, where uh, we are checking it up. What is going on? So in this test blockchain network, there are ten different addresses: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen blockchains, fifteen addresses are there who are connected to this. And right now, when I am using this, I am using this particular address to to fire it up to. To execute something, let's suppose, and the gas limit says that uh, this this much amount of gas maximum can be used to run any particular smart contract. Right? This is what we will be using. The contract which we will be trying to deploy is the new load sort. That is fine. Right? Let us try to deploy it up and uh, let us try to use. Okay, I got some message here, and there is a tick mark which says that something might be good for us, and there is this much gas has been used. So gas means when we are running something on the blockchain, we are we are running on the blockchain and making sure that we are consuming the power of 
the entire world computer that is uh, blockchain network which is ethereum now in this particular network uh, all the machines are getting into consensus they're also running they're also processing they're also doing their own computation somebody has set up those validation nodes which are following the rules and somebody is making sure that they have their enough processing power the power is supplied to those machines somebody is cooling them off and all those things require somebody uh, to pay some fees to get to a consensus on this Ethereum network. Now, it is test network, so we won't, we are not consuming any energy. Uh, we are not using, but when we are putting it on the main network, we get to know this much amount of gas would be used. And gas is nothing but we need to purchase gas. Currently, in the Ethereum network, that gas is purchased when uh, we are using ETH coin. So, ETH is a cryptocurrency. When we are using cryptocurrency, using a cryptocurrency, we can buy this particular gas network. Fine? Is, is it fine for you? understand that yes sir. maybe you can ask something more one should if you're not understanding that oh, no, sir. i think i understood your point yeah. great great that's nice so we have deployed the smart contract now as we deploy it up there is something that we have bought here so we see that there is deployed contract we've got something here oh my god there are so many things and what are these approve transfer transfer from these are nothing but functions and uh, what are these alliance to and balances these are mappings right so balances means when we pass some address here we should get the value there let us try it up so uh, what should be uh, let us let me copy this particular address what should be the balance of this particular address what can you say so initially whenever uh, so initially whenever the contract is deployed uh, what is the balance of message dot sender that is the contract that is executing it is total supply. It is total supply. It is this is the amount of uh, uh, the value that it should return. Do you get it? I mean, you can switch on your video as well. It, I won't take more time today. It will be just five ten minutes more. Once we are good uh, to start with them, you will get excited. Tomorrow we will do the uh, test cases and more theoretical aspects. I will do today. Can you just you have to either be vocal about it that you are understanding or I'm not able to see your face, that's why I can't check up if you understand. Is it fine that I can expect uh, the value to be 10 million into uh, 10 to power 18 once the alliance function is there? Yes, sir. Actually, actually it should be the balances one. I'm sorry. When the balances and I put the address, it should be uh, this one. I call it up and check it up, hold, behold. Don't count the numbers. I, I hope that this is, I, I am sure that this is equal to this much only. And you see that there is something that has happened here as well. And on this event, the gas consumed is nothing because we're not changing the state of this particular uh, blockchain. We're just querying the blockchain, getting in return what is the value of this particular uh, variable. How can I get it? Because total supply is a, uh, balance is, is a public, uh, uh, public variable public data structure. So I can always query from anywhere outside the smart contract as well. Let me try to uh, use something here. Let us try to use transfer function here. So I am transferring to which address can I transfer? I am transferring from this address. Let me try to use this address, uh, transfer something. Now I will transfer to this particular address. How many, how much should I transfer? Let's say I transfer 1 lakh, 3,000 I transfer. Let me check it out. So the event has happened. Now you will see that something gas might be consumed. Why? Because we are changing the state of this blockchain. State change means that some, some event has happened and because of which something has uh, changed in the entire blockchain. Some variables where we got updated or something has changed. Yes, we consumed some gas. Now when we are checking up the address here, this address, uh, I am sure that there will be some different value. So I'm just transferring it here and let me call it up. Yes, this is only one lakh. You got it? So our 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 uh, our, our uh, cryptocurrency is giving us some confidence that Bitcoin is working. I can transfer, let's suppose the existing address on which this uh, smart contract executed is by Yash. Now this is address, which is, let's suppose this is Yash's uh, address. And now uh, Yash is uh, trying to transfer something to, let's say, one share. Ponshesh address is this one. Now he has transferred. So we find that Ponshesh has received these many bits coins. Are you happy, Ponshesh? Absolutely. 
<laughs> you have got these many bits points. Okay, let me just try to make sure that can can I allow or can Yash allow uh, let's say one like bits points to be spent by me on his behalf. Let me just check it up. So let's say uh, I am this third person, and uh, so now I I must make sure that uh, when I say allowance or approve function in the approve function. Um, Okay, let's say use approve function. So approve function means uh, Yash is approving me. That means he is third one to transfer, let's say, one lakh uh, points from my behalf. Right? So this is again this is executed by Yash, and let's suppose this is the address of mine. Last one is uh, DB. Right? And again one lakh. When I say transact, yes, there is some change that will happen because some event has happened, something has done, and some state change has happened as well because the value of balances, value of approval has changed now. If not balances, at least allowance has changed now. Fine. So for so good, yes. So now I got the authority to, to transact uh, one lakh coins from your account to somebody else's account. I can do that on my behalf as well. I can do on your own. So let me try to do that. Let me try to transfer, let me try to execute this smart contract. And I am transferring from from whom from from Yash account. Sorry, I am transferring from Yash account, and, and I am transferring to whose account? And I am transferring to Yash's account. And how many I am transferring? I am transferring, let's say, fifty thousand. And who is executing the smart contract? I am executing. Does it make sense to you? Okay. Now, when I execute it, what should happen? Ideally, it should transfer from uh, EX account to Wenshaw's account. Let me try. And there is again a success. Very nice. Now, in the success, some gas is consumed. How do I know it has transferred? Let me try to check from the address of uh, Wenshaw that. Uh, does he actually have one like fifty thousand points? Let me check his balance. And initiate the one lakh. And wow, congratulations! Actually, you have got one like fifty thousand points. Uh, sir, but uh, here, when uh, in the process of approving, uh, how would you like? I mean, you have how did you ensure that? Account to yes, okay, but is my app process my beach my cassia. Yeah, that is Kalwala portion. If it with a Kamara till now, in our understanding, and very understanding, a key online other my transact per second because HDFC are one of the my transfer per second with you also. But now in blockchain, we are saying that somebody else can transfer from your account to third account as well. This is where allowance plays a part when we are doing let's say approve function, approve function, who can spend. From my account, kitna? That is there. So, jab wala banda contract execute karega, so that person can spend. If you are allowing me to spend without even you uh, taking anything, because you already allowed me to spend this much points, so I can spend from your account to yes account as well. This is this is what it is going on. This is also a provision of. Doing that, and now as promised yesterday, uh, that I will tell you why this is there. So ERC twenty me kyu contract hai ki? Why is cryptocurrency me kyu feature hai ki? Matlab ye feature ko standard transaction me to nahi aata hai. Standard transaction me to sa nahi hota na. I hope kisi ne bhi nahi suna hoga ki meri jeb me se apne paise nikal ke kisi aur ko chale gaye. Bhali maine aapko kaha hoga ki yes, thik hai. Uh, Main aapko five lakh rupees dunga kabi. Or aap jab bhi mere account se third part transfer. I was already speaking with a count with a punch like many gems at Nepjari and Kisior to pass without Kissi the Menabachan the Hoga, the Matome Bachan de Tahu, Kijoma di Pura Karna, Jutum Koga Hojaga, or now that is going on. This is this is something too crazy. Why it is there? Uh, why? Okay, let us try to understand that. And when we are trying to learn something, I must tell you we should learn how we are learning as well. So, as is the question of the one, a boss I ask again. And this is one thing which I yes 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 you want to say something? Yes, sir. I had tried finding the answer to that, and I have I found an answer. So if that could be correct, sir, you could approve of it. Yes, please, please. Uh, sir, I found in one of the websites that the reason for uh, this provision to be there is 
sometimes when exchanges happen and if i if there is no other person to approve that transaction i need to approve the uh, just so let me just read that statement that yeah, it, it, it was something ki exchange hoga transfer karna hai to har baar mujhe hi use karna padega suppose i am doing even financial transaction as well jo uh, let me correct as well jo mere understanding hai uh, aaj bhi main jab share purchase karta hu there is one uh, one person who is helping me as well and there is a there is a exchange yahan se transfer hota hai main usko power of attorney de sakta hu lekin ab sebi ne kya kar diya har baar nahi pehle karunga apne aap wo banda mere bhi aap pe nahi kar sakta har baar kabhi bhi nahi kar sakta wo mere bhi aap pe sirf mutual fund ka kuch kuch kar sakta hai share transfer mujhe apne aap hi karne hote hain now to avoid that of what i think yes she is trying to say correct me if i am wrong ki ye wala provisioning agar crypto exchange mein hota to har baar crypto exchange kuch bhi nahi karta har baar mujhe hi transfer karta uske bhi aap aur jab bhi wo khareedne ke liye baithta to wo khareed bhi pata बिना मेरे बिना मेरे अप्रूवल के मैं बेच भी सकता था उसको वो खरीद भी सकता था तो क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते अपने आप तो जस्ट टू ऑफलोड द कैपेबिलिटी मेक इट फास्टर मैंने अलाउ कर दिया लेट्स से कॉइन डी सिक्स बाइनेंस वजह रेट को कि मेरे भी यहाँ पे बेच लो खरीद लो और उन्होंने उस दिन का रेट है उसको यहाँ पे खरीद लिया मेरे अकाउंट में कर दिया ट्रांसफर एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम अब उनकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी उनकी मर्जी जब मर्जी मेरा अकाउंट से ट्रांसफर किसी और को दे दें बिना मुझे कर and so this is and one more point is that that sometimes due to this it takes a time and there is fluctuation of rate in between so that acts as another barrier okay now uh, you have understood something let us try to go to the uh, good source as well to understand good source means some other source as well uh, if you want to understand the history is there something ki why was india partitioned or why was kargil war happened or why was there a uh, uh, economic recession in 2008 and something that has happened in the past so now we are trying to understand that let's suppose why was erc token created that way that we are seeing today i mean this is the question here so we have got from one historian that you are saying that who is looking at the current situation and telling you that that's okay that's great we we'll just try to understand from different sources and try to understand what is the correct way of understanding so if we look at one particular historian he will say that this is why india was partitioned the way it is if you understand someone else will get different picture you understand this picture so looking at the too many other definitions you will get a broader vision and can conclude your own answer as well and so this is something like that that we are trying to understand let's try to understand from different sources uh you may write it up the common use case is this one no this is not uh, we can say what could be the reason for for yes we don't know when it was creating now this requires some deep delve study some sometime you may find some blog somebody has written sometime you may find out some other source that uh, uh, from someone from the original uh, network of there might have written something we need to look at the credible bit क्रेडिबल वेज ठीक है अगर इथीरियम नहीं कुछ बोल दे फिर उससे ज्यादा क्या होगा मतलब एंड ऑल्सो मीडियम इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द गुड साइट जहाँ पे अच्छे स्टैंडर्ड के ब्लॉग्स होते हैं एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट प्रूफ फंक्शन वाइट इज लेट साइड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एज वेल वी आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज द यूजर्स नीड टू नो अप्रूव मेथड इन साइड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फंक्शन नो हाउ टू क्रिएट नो स्टेट फॉरवर्ड गाइड मे बी मे बी नॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई एल सी टोकन इज what it is now let us try to understand that maybe that that we will look at different particular definitions here what is erc20 look at no how to create no this one is not the technical standard used to issue implement token on ethereum i am not clear a cabinet binance maybe what is erc20 how to create no what is erc20 no this is not what i am asking why is erc20 token uh having a proof transaction i mean let's say this is something again the article which is coming from medium that i am having so let's go back and study this article it may be big cumbersome it may, it may take some time but this is much much more uh, juicy for you much more long term for you because these evolution will keep on coming because understand in environment in which you are there you have to keep on evolving and if you understand how you learn 
you are there for success. If you keep on relying for one or two or three or four different persons to tell you exactly the answer, that's okay. But they can help you as much they know. I don't want you to stuck at how much I know. I want you to grow at your particular level and your particular level of magnificence and your level of growth as well. So let us try to understand that. When using decentralized uh, there are two transactions. Let's try how it works. That's okay. Approval. Let's create both here printed on this one. So I'm just sharing this one. So you you have uh, this as well. So apparently you can use it up as well. And uh, I'm just using this particular uh, thing of selling your card. That's okay. Okay. Okay, now this is something important here. This is saying um, under the normal circumstances, it's, it's, this isn't a feature. Those funds are only transferable if you create a transaction. But if there is a bug in the smart contract, there is an unauthorized transfer when your wallet would be at considerable risk of being completely wiped off. By approving more tokens than you ever then you will ever have in your wallet, you are sanctioning security for convenience, uh, your secretary security for convenience, that is the only one. Okay, so uh, what I have understood is that they are also saying something, but primarily understand that abhi aapko bechna hai. you want to sell something. Now, in order to sell something, ek hota hai ki you are selling to the crypto exchange first to Wazirx, Finance or Coin DCX, then they will send it to one church. So, Yash wants to sell it. First, yes, we will transfer it to Coin DCX. Then, Coin DCX will send it to one shed when one shed buys it up. Now, how much extra cost is required in this? Pehle, ek bar transfer to Coin DCX account mein, we transfer to Coin DCX one shed account. Mein. And the difference between normal transaction and normal means, aaj ke mein jo hum uh, ke uspe karte hai, chain pe karte hai, clearance authority approve karte hai. So, wahan pe itna kuch paisa nahi lagta har baat karna hai. It is very minimal piece. Agar aap aaj ek share karid rahe almost same thing uh, if the cost is not changing. But Ethereum, every transaction that you are doing is cost lagti hai. Using that approval function, aapne kuch nahi kiya change mein. you are just approving somebody to do something. That's it. You are not uh, transferring anything. So usme koi cost nahi lagi aapko transfer. And next time, whenever point is transferring something on your behalf, it is the only transfer event that is happening. So you have saved one transfer. You got it? You got something? Sir, means basically we are giving the power of approval to them and not transacting the money. So when we approval, we have transfer to coin DCX. It was just the approval. This one is there. The alliance, the data structure, also may change. It is just getting variable updated. Ah, okay. Variable updates. You know, थोड़ा सा लगेगा हमें थोड़ा हमें चेंज करना पड़ेगा. Gas लगे हो तो बहुत कम है. Any any transfer. That that is what the idea here is that they are presenting. Do you get it? अगर मुझे Bitcoin sell करने हैं किसी को भी मतलब it's a huge cost at Bitcoin network अगर मुझे कुछ transact करना है. So that is also one thing. So considering that factor as well, कि कल को ETH20 standard से कोई भी करेंसी अपना वो बना सकती है coins and now every transaction that is happening मतलब यश वंश जैसे 500 और लोगों के जो transact कर रहे हैं मेरी crypto currency में now देखें मैं 5000 देखें मैं 5 लाख देखें मैं 5 करोड़ every time transaction is happening to coin DCX then it is happening to some third person and any trade is there तो कितना volume extra लग रहा है exchange कितना transaction extra हो just take alliance here and so much uh, money is saved. Okay. This is another way of looking at saying. Okay, we got some, some nice insights into it. So I, I recommend you that you just go and play and do this up once again. Falco will try to work ahead and do some test cases. And perhaps we will try to work on the front end as well. We'll try to work on the rear. Now, you might want to be knowing Solidity as a language. How many of you knew Solidity? 
this lecture i mean it's, no no and was it something different something alien thing very easy i mean you only had to seek about kuch aur karna you know solitary docs that's it that's it ek solitary docs karke hai online mein uh, i'm just sharing the screen uh, just type solitary docs kuch bhi aapko check karna i mean i haven't given everything here bahut sari cheeze aapne index dekha hoga bahut kuch cheeze aur aapne dekhi hongi is definitely bahut kuch aur bhi dekhenge aap who is your best friend here go to solitary docs and you get various solutions kuch bhi aapko puchna hai yahan pe kyu hai kya hai kaisa hai i mean sorry sorry this is solitary docs which i am sharing so maine pehle google search kiya solitary docs and then i go to solitary docs that's it so this is a place where you should refer uh, documents uh, for any just like java docs have the post that is right that's it. right thank you so much for joining uh, today's session i know that it was just a completion of it but we completed creating a cryptocurrency here and i'm thankful to you for joining so please look ahead this particular um, whatever it is and uh, this particular smart contract try to absorb something try to create on your own now the thing that you have to do now is you know erc20 standard not this one uh, this standard you know that one. now you can create at least the solidity portion of your smart contract now on your own next time when we are using erc721 that is what is that is erc721 is nft when we are creating nft up till all asana ho jayega that oh this is something second time we are doing first time how we learned second time is much much easier first time when we play some shot on tennis table tennis squash football anything it's a bit difficult second time it's a bit easier if you are following uh, how i again thank you so much